What's up guys, it's Andy and Mike from the Whole Nap Project and today we're going to talk a little bit about rear brake light switches. Um, so I all know the Harley I ride, uh, apparently the brake light switch on this one went bad. So I'm just going to show you guys, you know, uh, basically it's the rear pedal, of course everybody knows that, duh. Uh, you have to turn the bike on, Mike. <laughs> anyway, so the handbrake works, go ahead, push them. But the rear pedal, see I'm kicking it. The rear pedal. No more nothing. That basically is because either the brake light switch is busted or the wire connecting to the brake light switch is no good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch that out today and show you guys how step by step um, on this model. And then you know maybe we'll do one on a one of the GSXRs that everybody else rides so that everybody can see how that's done. So we're gonna get to it and we'll come back. Alright, so on this particular Sportster model, the rear brake switch is behind this, the rear canister for the um, brake fluid. So first things first is we got to remove that. Um, to get that off, we're going to have to use the Allen wrench. So give me one second while I grab this. We're going to take that off. And I know a lot of you guys were like, saying in the other video that we did you know you want to see it from the beginning so that's why we kind of decided we we're gonna do this from start to finish so that everybody can see how it's all done yeah i'm totally happy uh-huh yeah mike's you know he's here in spirit he's cheering us on trying to get it done okay so once we get that removed you know? yeah you want to hold the camera <laughs> the the rear brake switch is right there that's what you're looking for um, there's going to be two wires connected to it and it's basically screwed into your brake line. So um, what we want to do is we're going to remove these and then we're going to remove this, um, put in the new one, and then we got to bleed the brake system to set it all back up again. So I believe this thing is where is it? Uh, 11 16th. So we're going to go ahead and move this. That's the wrong way. After we take this off. Cause that's important. We don't want to pull those things. So take those wires off. We're gonna take this thing. And we're gonna unscrew that. Now the other thing that you need to remember when you're working with brake fluid is it's very corrosive. So anytime that you get it on anything, you want to make sure that you rinse it off with a lot of water, so that it doesn't eat away at the metal or the paint that you have down here or whatever else you got going on. It yeah, it's very corrosive. You didn't know that? Safety first, people. Safety first. So this is the new one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in. And it all—all all it does is just. Huh? There's no—you can't really tell. So, if you look at these two, you can't really tell the difference. Um, the way that this works is inside here. There's a pressure thing. So when you push on the brake, the pressure that's in there on the line signals this thing, and it sends that electrical current to the brake in the rear. So. But there's really no difference you can see. The only way you're going to know if it's out is if all of a sudden your brake line doesn't work. Or your, not brake line, but your rear brake light for your pedal. So, we're gonna, I don't know if you guys can see that. We're going to go ahead and screw that in. Just like that. Right inside there. I'm trying to get as close as I can for you guys without getting blurry. And then we're going to tighten that down. So that's nice and snug. Um, so now we're gonna connect the wires again. And if you look, it's basically the pins on this, you just slide it on with the wires. So let's see. Try and get that in there. Yeah. Put these back on here. One. And ow. Oh. You 
guys can hear my kids in the background. They're killing each other right now, so we're just going to ignore that and keep working. Uh, I can go check on that. No. <laughs> all right, so there you go. So now that's all back on. Um, so the other thing that you need to realize is once you put this back on, it's not going to make a difference. And the only reason I say that is because there's no pressure in the line right now because we pulled the old one out. So what we need to do is put this all back together first, um, lead the brake system, and then once we get that done, you should have your brake lights, your rear brake light switch working as proper as it should be. So um, we're gonna go ahead and set up for the bleed, and we'll come back when we're done, when we're ready. All right, guys. So we're back. We got everything put back together. Um, so now we're gonna start bleeding the brake system. So a couple things that you're gonna need. First off, you're gonna need your brake fluid. Okay. Um, now with any fluid that you use you always want to make sure you read everything on the back make sure you're safe um, and again brake fluid in in general is just very corrosive so just make sure that uh, you're doing all the safety precautions that you need to to stay safe um, another thing you're gonna need is a container to put the brake fluid in so we got our little laundry cup here that we're not using anymore so we're gonna use that we're already filled with brake fluid um, we're gonna take our line here and we're going to put this on this little valve here. Put that right on there. Oop, ow. Just like that. So that end goes there. The other end is going to go into the brake fluid. Now, before we do that, though, we need to open up this valve. Um, really recommend that you have the correct wrench, but because I don't, I'm going to use my pliers. It's not a very good idea, but you know what? It's last resort, so we're just gonna pop that thing open just like that. Oh, destroying everything else. You guys can see that, so we're just gonna open that up. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this, this end, into the fluid. And we're going to get Mike over on the other side to go ahead and start pumping the rear foot brake. With the valve open. With the valve open. Shut up. And what we're going to see is a lot of air bubbles. See that? Um, and that's that's just because we pulled off that rear um, brake light switch. So Basically, anytime you're dealing with your brakes and you open a part of the system, air gets into it and you have to bleed it. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Genius. All right, so we're so, bleeding the system. Yeah, we're continually we're bleeding the system. So we're gonna show you guys how we're doing this. So we got Mike on the pedal. Um, I got one end of the rubber in the container with the brake fluid. And I have my other hand opening and closing the valve on the back caliper. And that builds pressure to relieve pressure, basically. So you make right. sure all the air bubbles. So. Yeah, exactly what he's saying. So we're gonna open that again. Okay. Looks like we're getting to that point there's still a little bit more air bubbles close it right, closing the valve so you're generally you're gonna want a buddy to do this because it's gonna t be really hard to do it on your own okay opening the valve um at the same time you want to make sure your reservoir you want to make sure you keep filling and adding to the reservoir as needed so that you don't run out um so i'm gonna open up the valve again go ahead Yeah, closing. Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy Jesus! That suction hot after. All right. How are we doing? Close. Close. Okay, closed. Okay, opening. Close. Should be good already. We're good? All right. So, cool. so basically what you want to see is you want to see your, your brake fluid become murky because you're pushing basically all the brake fluid through your system. So the old stuff should be coming in and flushing out the new stuff at the same time. Yeah. So now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and remove this. 
Is it safe for me to put this back together? All right, so I'm gonna take this off first. Okay, shake out whatever's left in the line just to be safe. I don't want it leaking anywhere, and then we're gonna roll this sucker up. All right, put that on the side. We're gonna cover up the nipple. And Mike, can you level out the bike real quick? Oh, it make like it's so heavy. It's not All a beautiful, right. sweet sports bike, if that's what you're asking. How dare you? We're gonna close that up. We should be good to go. So now, um, if we turn on the motorcycle, okay, you can put it down now. You got pressure on it, the pedal. All right, so. Okay, now that we got that done, handbrake, and now foot brake, all fixed. So submit any questions that you guys have. Um, we'll try and answer best as we can. Um, please remember to like the video if you like what we're doing, subscribe. But uh, other than that, peace out. Who oh, nah, brah?